Ladies and gentlemen, it's Rick, and today I'm gonna let you guys know before you even get into the video, I sound like complete dog shit. I am sick as f I was up all night just doing, you know, the whole entire night, and I am just sick. I have the day off of work, thank God, but I have to make you guys your wonderful daily video. As you guys know, I post a video every single day, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, if you come here every single day and still haven't subscribed, what the fuck are you doing? Let's try to get some wonderful brand new subscribers. As you guys know, we are building community. We have a Discord down in the description below. Join that, everything, all that good stuff. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be talking about reverse boosting in this video. Something that has been around Call of Duty for uh, five years now. Ever since skill-based matchmaking has been ramped up since 2019. But this year, as skill-based matchmaking has its up and down, someday you're playing fucking Scumpy. Other days you're playing little Timmy that is, actually has two paralyzed thumbs. It's insane how unpredictable skill-based matchmaking is. Some days it gets easier. Some weekends it's harder. Some weekends it's like not even there. I don't even know why they're fucking around with it. Just figure it out. Either put it in the game or take it out. Okay, that's just, that's just that's the only thing I'm gonna talk about with with the with all that shit. But we're gonna be talking about reverse boosting, man. I've been playing with some viewers on and off stream. You know, I'm not, I haven't been able to stream. You guys know the situation with the PC. It's coming in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, I get it soon so I can stream. But I've been playing with people on and off stream. I'm not gonna lie. Some of them are on my skill level. Hell yeah, and those lobbies get sweaty as fuck. And other people I play with, not gonna mention them. You know, are not uh, the best of players, and that's nothing against them. I'm just saying they're not. They're not the best of players. So when I join them, their lobbies are absolutely insane. I start to realize, yeah, I start to see this is why people reverse boost right here. I was having a blast. I was dropping 100 plus kills in small map mosh pit. I was fucking going crazy. I was choking hella nukes. Hella nukes. Died to some dumb shit. People spawning behind me in rust on a 24. Something crazy like that. And I start to see why people are actually reverse boosting. It, it makes a lot of sense. Now, I'm never going to go and do it myself. Reverse boosting, if you guys don't know what that is, that's where you purposely go into a different way of whether it's a VPN, whether it's buying another console and joining a bot account, whatever it is, that's reverse boosting where you are purposely doing it. I'm playing with viewers, I'm playing with friends, it is what it is, and we get these lobbies. Now, do I love it? I fucking love it. Sometimes matches are sweaty as shit because they're getting my skill based matchmaking. Maybe the other player did a lot better as well. And the other people are like, damn, Rick, your lobbies are sweaty as fuck. And then when I first joined these people, the lobbies are easy as complete shit. Therefore, I'm almost dropping nukes. I'm getting hella advanced UAVs, hella VTOLs. It's a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. It brings back that old Call of Duty pub stomping days. So I'm starting to see why people are doing it. Now, I still will continue to believe that people that do it the wrong way, aka buying another console, getting another account, joining the account, making that account leave, and you staying in the game to just destroy people not even close to your skill level, I think that is one of the lowest things to do in life in Call of Duty. We're going to talk about Call of Duty. The, not the lowest thing to do in life. There are a lot of things way worse than that. But we're going to talk about within Call of Duty. That is one of those things where I'm like watching these gameplays. I'm not going to mention anybody. You guys know who I'm talking about. If you guys have followed me, you guys understand exactly who we're talking about here and other people that we're talking about. It's, it's embarrassing. So many top content creators are doing it. So many people just in general are doing it, and that's fine. The only problem I got with it, man, is I will continue to say this till the day I die. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It is like taking a 18-year-old kid and putting them into a middle school basketball game and saying, all right, go and play. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? Maybe you might find a diamond in the rock where somebody in eighth grade is dunking on this kid. But in general, that 18 year old is going to make every one of those kids in middle school their bitch or his bitch, her bitch, whatever you want to identify as. Let's remember that you are going to be able to absolutely slaughter, not in real life, but in the game, these kids. Why is it like, why is it seen as like this amazing content, this amazing thing in life to be able to continue to do within Call of Duty? I think it's embarrassing. That's just me and my opinion. I would never do it purposely, man. It's very hard for me. The best thing is when I make, when I get these gameplays or when I when I play in these lobbies, it's on stream. All right, I'm not taking it as content and putting it on my videos. But I'm not purposely reverse boosting. Viewers want to play with me. I'm gonna be a great guy. Say so, yeah, let's go play. Let's get a party. Let's have some fun. These are my viewers. They've been supporting me. I fucking love it, man. I I have a great time. And yeah, some people are better than others. Therefore, when you get in the lobby. 
it's going to be like this, up and down. There's going to be some lobbies where they're absolute dog shit. There's going to be some lobbies where they're about my skill level. That's fine. When you got people actually reverse boosting, when you got people actually going out for those rats, or not rats, dog shit players. Let's just say people that literally don't know what the fuck they're doing within this game. It's embarrassing. I am sorry. Reverse boosting is embarrassing for content creators. It's embarrassing in general. I don't care if you admit it or not. If you don't admit to reverse boosting, you are... That's even like lower. I thought there was a floor. Oh my god, you just fucking punch through it. You know what that, you know this movie? Just punch through it. Punch through it. Punch through it. But holy shit, dude. I don't even care if you do admit it. I'm sorry. If you admit you reverse boost for content, oh my gosh. It, it, it's, it to me, it is so fucking lazy. It is lazy. I get it. Some people love to watch nuke. Some people love, hey, do whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't care. I'm just saying to me. If I was a viewer, to me, as a content creator, I will never reverse boost and, and fucking put it out there like I'm a god or even say that I'm reverse boosting for this content because that, to me, is like a letdown to my community. I want my community to feel like I am trying to get good gameplays for them. I am trying. Yes, I got to swim my ass off because my lobbies are sweaty as fuck. But holy shit, guys. Reverse boosting. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I apologize for my sickness. I apologize. I just I just think this live commentary type of way is a lot better to see me while you see the gameplay instead of just hearing my voice. Fuck all that. Let's see. Let's look eye to eye. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed these two videos, right? Yeah. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Join the Discord down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great, wonderful, blessed day. Peace.